SS8H2, analyze the colonial period of Georgia's history. Element B, analyze the relationship between James Oglethorpe, Tomachichi, and Mary Musgrove in establishing the city of Savannah at Yamacraw Bluff. Our learning target, I will explain the people and the city of Savannah that helped in the establishment of Georgia. You would think that the English coming over and invading the Native American land would cause a lot of issues, but it didn't. The relationship between James Oglethorpe, Tom Achichi, and Mary Musgrove was amazing. Their great relationship helped form the city of Savannah. It helped Georgia prosper and grow. It helped the Native Americans with trade opportunities. Some say that James Oglethorpe was the founder and father of Georgia. Some even go as far as calling him the first governor of Georgia, but he really wasn't a governor. James Oglethorpe was a trustee. He was sent over to help govern the new colony. As you remember from our last lesson, Oglethorpe was inspired to create the colony of Georgia because of a friend in prison because of debt. Unfortunately, the idea of bringing worthy poor to Georgia to create a new colony just wasn't what really happened. The idea was great, but those who actually came over weren't in debt. They were settlers who could help Georgia grow. James Oglethorpe went to King George II and asked for a charter to create the colony. Oglethorpe and 20 other trustees were granted that charter. The trustees were given control of the land. Oglethorpe was the only trustee to ever step foot in Georgia. That is why many consider him the first governor of Georgia. Tomachichi was the BFF of James Oglethorpe. Tomachichi was the Yamacra chief who became friends with James Oglethorpe. Tomachichi saw a huge benefit in befriending Oglethorpe, so he allowed the English to settle at Yamacraw Bluff, the future home of Savannah. Through the help of Mary Musgrove, a translator, Tomachichi and Oglethorpe developed a lifelong friendship. Tomachichi even traveled back to England with Oglethorpe and helped him establish English-speaking schools in Georgia. Tomachichi was so important to the colony of Georgia and to the British that when he died in 1739, he was buried in Savannah with full British military honors. As we mentioned before, Mary Musgrove was a translator for James Oglethorpe and Tomachichi. Musgrove was the daughter of a Creek mother and a British father. Because of this, she knew both languages and both cultures, which was a huge benefit. Mary and her husband, John, established a trading post in the Yamacraw Bluff area. Even after John died, Mary continued to run the trading post. In addition to the trading post business, Mary was Ovalthorpe's personal interpreter. For her years of service, the Creeks gave her land, although the British government and the Georgia colony refused to see her claim. Musgrove then took matters into her own hands. She and 200 Creek Indians went to Savannah to argue her claims. After some time, Royal Governor Henry Ellis and the British government gave her a sum of money and St. Catherine's Island. Mary Musgrove died on St. Catherine's Island sometime after 1763. The first city in Georgia, Savannah. It is located on the Savannah River about 15 miles inland. Tomachichi agreed to move his people upstream to allow Oglethorpe and his people to settle on the Yamacraw Bluff. The city is laid out in typical European fashion. It is a series of grids that allows for wide streets with tree-covered squares and parks. Colonists located businesses on the square and built places for public town meetings. Originally, there were 24 squares created. Today, 22 of the squares still exist. 